My name is Free and I'm on the I'm a board member of Pollinator Project Rogue Valley and we are here to support pollinators. Every third bite of food that you eat is because of a pollinator. Um, currently we need to really help support them because flying insects, which are pollinators, are in steep decline and what affects them affects us. They're basically our first and last line of defense. So if we can make sure to protect their habitat and uh, make sure that there's no toxic chemicals being sprayed that affect them, then we can actually ensure that human beings will have a future on this planet as well. <laughs> That's why I do what I do. Hello. My name is Nikki Del Pizzo and I'm Lomakati's Riparian Restoration Manager. Uh, Lomakati is a nonprofit organization based out of Ashland. We do restoration work in Oregon and Northern California. We've been around for 25 years. Uh, restoration forestry um, and uh, workforce training and partnering with the tribes and partnering with all sorts of agencies, um, organizations to um, restore forests and watersheds. Um, through riparian restoration, which is what I do, uh, we're working on fish habitat projects. We're restoring our creeks uh, through the removal of invasive species and uh, planting native trees and shrubs to create shade for uh, coho, chinook salmon, and steelhead trout and I'm here today to uh, share some of our riparian restoration projects with the group. Uh, we've been doing this work for um, over 20 years and um, the way to do creek restoration without, use, without the use of herbicide is just strategic um, planning and proper use of time and energy and of course a lot of labor but it is, um, there is some um, potential for creek restoration without the use of herbicide if there was a discussion about community supported restoration, how can we find more funding to create a workforce to do this important work. And that's it. My name's Tula Raybon, and I'm with the Friends of Wagner Creek Group. We're an all-volunteer organization here in Talent, working in the Wagner Creek watershed to help improve water quality and habitat. And we're focusing on pollinators, native plants, uh, water quality, and building community around restoring our watershed. We've got some work parties coming up this spring, so if you're interested in joining us to pull a few weeds, you can always use your help and you can follow us on Facebook. Hi, my name is Dagoberto Morales. I work with the UNETE Center for Farm Work Advocacy, and we do a lot of uh, stuff to work with farm workers and immigrants about the work, work related, about the, the trouble that now this, uh, those caravans is coming from Honduras to um, try to get into the United States and uh, as, um, avoid, uh, trying to educate the people why it's important for they know, yes, try to condemn them why the reason they walk in so many miles is because they have to understand that economic policy that you the US imposed to them uh, actually allows them to make that uh, difficult decision to come and also what we uh, helping them to try to understand the risk of the pesticides the risk of the 
um, the, the work they've been doing and how they can protect themselves, how we can avoid to be, they can be in trouble. And we also give us uh, English classes, citizenship classes, and uh, driving classes, computer classes. And um, one of the reasons we are here is to continue to promote and educate the Anglo and everyone community about all uh, immigrants, the immigrants is uh, people to come for like a refugees, economic refugees. Hi, my name is Dolly Warden and I'm here, I'm the chair of the Bee City Group from Talent. Talent, Oregon. I don't know where this goes, but we were the second bee city in the nation, and we are here now. We have over 38 pollinator gardens. That is from individuals. We also have six that are city pollinator gardens, what we call public pollinator gardens. Like at the, the postage stamp is at the post office. That's a postage stamp pollinator garden. There's a lot of noise in here. <laughs> Um, but we have items here on the table anyone can pick up if you want to plant a garden, what plants to buy and put in, or you can also be certified and get this sign. Where's our sign? This one, to put in your garden. And so everybody else knows that you are a pollinator saver because approximately 85% of our food has to be pollinated. Well, thank you for listening.